Today we are opening the demo plant with which we will extract functional protein, Rubisco, from sugar beet leaves. May I ask you to open the demo plant? Three, two, one. It's an historical day for Kozen, and especially, of course, for Zuidruni. We are entering the era of uh, plant-based proteins, and this is the first step. We are in the midst of a uh, protein transition from uh, all kinds of meat uh, proteins to vegan uh, products, and uh, Rubisco is the ultimate vegan product. We expect a good, for example, composition in amino acids, and also good functionality for the food. Vegetable proteins are more sustainable than animal proteins in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, land use, water and energy use. I think the, the progress in the project has been very good because in the last year we came from a redesign to the plant to having it working now on already processing material. So I would say we are all very happy with the progress. So joining the Green Protein Project uh, has really helped us to speed up our time to market with at least two years. And especially the financial contribution has helped us. And next to that, of course, the cooperation with all the parties uh, within the project. The Green Protein Project works in dissemination and communication because it's a disruptive initiative. So this needs to be communicated. Already start stimulating the market, creating awareness about our product. Traditionally, we made the sugar, molasses and pulp out of the sugar beet. But in the future, we foresee we will have much more components like biomaterials, bioplastics, biogas out of the sugar beet. Well, the plant proteins market is actually booming. We get a, a lot of requests from our current customers already to replace animal-based proteins into plant-based proteins. But uh, the future is great. 